Hello, Allie. This is a discussion of the homework that was actually due today, which is Wednesday. And it comes from section 6.2, and it was those chemical ones where you had a half-life and various parts to find out about it. So we went over another example, and we're going to take the um, balance of those, which was 35, 36, and 39, and actually um, have those due tomorrow. So I was going to do 34, at least part of it. So in 34, we were told that radon isotope 226 had a half-life of 1599. We were not told the initial amount, which is a pain. I hate when that happens. We were told at 1,000 years, there was 1.5 grams left. And we were told nothing at 10,000 years. So we're going to fill in the blanks. So we're going to start this with the information that is most potent and has the most information hidden in it, and that is that. So I'm going to make a statement, start with our formula, and feed in the information from that into the formula. When I do that, I see, well, I'm not sure what the initial amount is, but I know it's and at its half-life, half of that amount is now present. So if you will, I'll call this C for the initial amount and one half C in uh, when half of it has decayed. And that takes place at year 1599. So with our calculator, or first with our algebra, divide both sides by C and we have one half equals e to the k, or 1599 k, and if we take the ln of 0.5 and divide it, that will equal 1599 k, and then when we divide both sides by 1599 k, 1599, we get k equals a very small number, like these are often negative 0.000 three of them there, four, three, three, four, nine. So I put in as many as I can almost. All right, so at least we got a K, but it doesn't get us to finding either the initial amount or the amount at 10,000 years. So let's feed what we have into the equation. A equals C E to the minus point oh 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 four three three four nine. Uh, T. All right, so now I'm going to borrow from the less potent one, the one that has, didn't have enough to get us started, but it has enough information to keep us going here. So this says at year 1000, the amount is 1.5 grams. So under amount, I put 1.5 equals CE to the minus 0.0004334 and now a thousand. This is enough information, finally, to find C. So if I divide 1.5 by this number, calculator work, we find out that the amount in, the amount at 10,000, I mean, sorry, the, the amount initially turns out to, to be 2.3 grams. So I'm gonna put that back up in my chart. All right, and to finish it, I'm not going to actually discuss it much, but we will now we want the amount at 10,000 years. So we have C, E to the K, we have K, and the time is 10,000. So just plug and chug that, and we found it came out to not much left in 10,000 years. 0.03 grams. All right, so hopefully that helps you finish that problem. And we still have number 35, 36, and 39 to do in that section. Also, I think I mentioned somewhere that I'm looking for the differential equations number 8 and 10, 21 to 24, and I forget what this was. Oh, this was um, 
this what was this let me let me check so I'm not confusing anything all right eight and ten were just straight differential equations these were problems that were exponential growth and they had like X's and Y's in them then we had 57 to 61 that is where the country is countries like Latvia and then we had the chemical mis uh, mixture problems 34 to 30, 34, 35, 36, and 39. And then we had that visual limits handout. And those were most of the ones on that visual handout page. So this was collected today, and this, and this, this was not, and this. So um, what we did is just, co if any of those were in the notebooks, we copied them and then handed them in. So I'll need those all from you. I've been a uh, little lax in getting the results in my grade book, so you can pull that together. So that's it. I just wanted to help you on the chemical problems so you can finish these. All right. I do hope you're feeling well, better, and that you can come on in tomorrow, start back in. So, have at it. Bye.